In a previous video, I shared with you guys how difficult it was to make the solder connections on the top of this battery. So in this video, we're going to try to make a spot welder out of some stuff that I have lying around this garage. Here we go. <laughs> Well, here's what I've got so far. I have a 12 volt battery that I made in a previous video. This is made out of some cells from a Chevy Volt battery. So it's three cells in series for about 12 volts. Over here, this big component is actually a relay from the Smart for Two electric car. And this guy is rated for 250 amps continuous. It has a little 12 volt coil that moves the uh, big, I don't know, plunger mechanism. There was one component I had to go buy and that was this momentary switch. So on the end of one wire I put a stainless steel bolt through there and on the end of the wire from the Chevy Volt I have the other stainless steel bolt uh, to make a couple of points. Now they're not energized right now because no one's pressing uh, for this relay. But here's what happens. I press the momentary switch and you'll hear the relay click. I attached this end with a little piece of steel plate simply so that I could screw it down. So here's just a drywall screw. I'm just gonna get it attached so it doesn't kind of float around here. These are a couple pieces of the bus bar that I actually took off the battery. Okay, now I'm just gonna hit this for a second. And we got some smoke coming off from there. Don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it held for a brief second until I just uh, pulled on it. So not, uh, not great by any means. Uh, so it's something I still have to work on. So let's try that one more time for the camera. Ah. So see that happens super fast and they are actually stuck together right now. Now that's not going to be a very strong joint but it's better than my solder joints I'm doing right now. Let's see if I can just break it like this with one hand. Yep. All right. But one of the difficulties with this project is going to be the tiny little spaces in between here. Now each of these is about half inch on center, but the actual opening here is maybe three eighths of an inch. So it's got to be really tiny to get in there. I grabbed uh, little pieces of angle aluminum and I cut a little nose on there. Now that little nose has the ability to fit into the copper and it just barely makes it, but it fits in. And I scored a tiny spot right there showing the the middle uh, and that's going to be where I want to actually put an electrode. It's a tungsten rod from a welding supply store. This was four dollars. Line up. This is a little center punch. It's just got a little hardened tip to it. So that looks about halfway which is all I'm trying to do. Now let's see what happens with the tungsten rod. Yeah, so it fits in there. Here are the two good pieces and here's some that I didn't like. So let's take the one of the good pieces here and see if it fits. I just had to squeeze it with the pliers to get it to go all the way in. Now the important thing is can it fit in the opening. It's too long. It's hitting on the edge. Okay, I think that did it. Can you see that? It fits in the opening now. That's what we need is for it to clear that. If you notice, this one here I've already cleaned up 
this one I haven't so I need to sand this down and drill a hole in both of these for a bolt so I need some wires to attach to these these are just going to be the tips so I'm going to take this uh, wire from the Chevy Volt and I'm going to cut it off back here okay. I'm taking off all the plastic reinforcement and the loom tape I just took this cutting board and cut off a piece of it. And it's a fairly thin cutting board. Well, as you can see, I have these uh, pieces of aluminum. I finally got them through the plastic. And if I bolt these on, those tips should line up which is what I'm going for. So now I have this quarter inch hardware. This is stainless steel hardware. There we go. See that? Nice. Now this is the wire that I crimped on earlier. Here's the electrodes over here, and here's the other end. So I'm going to wire this to the relay. As you can see, that's wired up. A couple of torques. Oh, also I grabbed one of the bus bars from that uh, Smart for Two car. So now we've got those terminals covered. These are 10 millimeter. We have a momentary switch, we have a relay, we have a battery, and we've got some fancy electrodes. Let's give it a shot. Oh, with the heat shrink on here, I can't fit in between these anymore. Shoot. That means I'm probably going to have to take that off. Okay. There we go. So I've got a clamp. The clamp is plastic. The electrodes look like they're lined up straight. And so I think we're good to go. We're going to actually try this. Looks like we're all in frame, so here we go. <laughs> it jumped a bit, didn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's take this apart and see what happened. Oh, looks like the two are stuck together. Oh, darn, they fell apart. Darn. <laughs> there was the dimple on that part. All right, well, let's give it a try again. Here we go. We're going to give it another shot. Blew a hole right through it. You guys see that? Spot welded it. <laughs> the fact that it continued to spark even after it was done, even after I had let go, tells me that maybe the relay just can't handle it. Uh, maybe Maybe something broke inside the relay, like arced across. I think I'm going to have to title this How Not to Build a Spot Welder. <laughs> uh, who is it that said, there are no failures in life, I just found another way not to do something? <laughs> Alright, well thank you very much for watching guys, and if you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out the Patreon link in the description below. Thank you.